It's rolling and it's rocking and there's not much gonna stop them. It's the 6x6 High Riser Hercules with six wheel drive and independent suspension. It's rocking and it's rolling and it's picking up the load. It's the 6x6 High Riser Mammoth sold separately, ready for tough terrain and your toughest adventures. It's rocking and it's rolling, almost no place it's not going. Two AA batteries not included. The 6x6 High Riser Hercules and Mammoth each sold separately from Ideal. Mad balls. Mad balls, mad balls, gross for one, gross for all. We play with a mad ball, they're gross, funny, yucky, sick, mad there's eight, so you can take your pick. Mm -hmm. We throw, catch, it's uh oh fun, there's so much gross in every one. Freaky fun is what they're for, there's so much ugly, so much more. Gross for one, gross for all. We play with a mad ball, mad ball. we play with a mad ball, mad we ball. play with a mad ball. Mad, mad ball. ball. Freaky fun for everyone, sold separately from Amtoy. Mad ball. B-5-O-Hum! Come on, you guys! It's only a little! No, we ain't a hungry giant! Hungry for a big honey dash! Big taste, honey cup, big taste! Honey cup, big! Yeah, yeah, yeah! It's not small! No, no, no! Honey cup's got individuals to protect Earth and our allies. Courageous pioneers committed to the highest ideals of justice and dedicated to preserving law and order across the new frontier. These are the adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. Check this out. I'm getting a visual on the long-range scanner. A large object, 75 sectors outside of the solar system. No radio, no lasers, no heat, nothing. Too big to be a battle cruiser, and it appears to be drifting. Course projection indicates rendezvous Earth. There's something else. Antimatter pods and a detonator. Transmit all data to Commander Walsh at Beta Mountain. Sir, as you can see, the object is 10 miles in diameter and headed for Earth. Deep space scan shows an antimatter detonation device on board. Does not respond to hailing on any frequency in any language. It's the size of a small moon. A gift from the Queen of the Crown? A bomb of that size could destroy this entire planet. I want the Galaxy Rangers out there immediately. I wish we could study this artifact. An object that size could house some incredible secrets. Hold on, Zozo. You will accompany the Galaxy Rangers. But that intruder is not to reach Earth. Galaxy Rangers, good luck, team. 
Helma, coordinate our flight plan with Ranger 1. All set, please. Copy. Doc, try a full spectrum scan. Right. Scanner's on. Magnificent! Look at the size of that thing! Let's not forget what we're dealing with. Yeah, the largest bomb ever built. No reply to our signals. It's silent as a tomb. Scanners show no life forms. It's just drifting. Going in for a closer look. <laughs> Looks like the station was playing possum, Captain. Goose, be careful. It must have some automatic defenses. Shall we accept their invitation? Loose, proceed with caution. Roger. Station must be pre-programmed. These power surges should lead us to the master computer. Life support systems are still functioning. There's an Earth standard oxygen nitrogen atmosphere. Galaxy Rangers, move out. I wonder how old this thing is. Nico, can you use your power on the station itself? I'll give it a try. This station is thousands of years old. It was sent drifting through space when the planet it was orbiting was destroyed. There's no one left here. <laughs> Welcome! Welcome, fellow Enolans. It is I, Speck. We are all waiting for you. I thought you said this place was deserted. These are not real life forms. Maybe they're ghosts. Now, Zozo, don't be ridiculous. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Step aside, my goose man. Would either of you lovely ladies care to dance? <laughs> huh? Huh? They're nothing but holograms. Wow, that looks like fun. A foolish waste of time, if you ask me, Zozo. Still, it is an interesting example of a unique alien custom, obviously the product of a highly advanced culture. <laughs> oh boy, my turn! <laughs> hey, bartender! I am so glad you have finally returned from Enola. Listen, we're not from Enola. Oh no! Then you are the enemy. Take it easy, Spec. I must complete my function. Ghosts! They're all ghosts! Calm down, Zozo. There are no such things as ghosts. <laughs> Watch it! <laughs> Won't do! 
This station's haunted. Zozo, I've had enough of your superstitious nonsense. On Andor, even the smallest child knows there's no such thing. Zozo! Wait for me! Come back here, you little kiwi! Nico, Captain, can you hear me? Move it, yes. Doc! Well, somebody's having a good time. Too bad it's not me. Fighting ghosts wasn't in the Galaxy Ranger job description. Ghosts? <laughs> You're as bad as Zozo. That's right, I'm bad. I hope you see what I see, Gooseman. This is impossible. We're inside a space station. I've never seen such detailed holography. We've got to find the others. Find the others? How are we going to find our way out of here? Zachary, over there. Incredible. See if you can get any impressions. Nico, stay close. Zachary, where are you? Nico! Oh! Nico, don't move! Newer holograms. The armor's real, but it's hollow. A robot? No, there's nothing inside of it. It must have been guided by remote control. Come on, let's get out of here. I simply cannot run another step. Me neither. I don't care if the ghosts do get me. Now look here, Zozo. You know there must be some kind of logical explanation for all this. Yeah? Ghosts! I refuse to believe such a foolish notion. It is complete and utter nonsense. Hmm, interesting. Stay close, Sozo. We don't want to get separated. Now let me see. History of the planet Enola. It figures. Give him a book and he forgets about everything else. No such thing as ghost. Hmm. Huh? Quiet, Zozo. Listen to this. Hey, yo! <laughs> Zozo? Zozo! Now, where could that little kiwi be? I told him not to wander off. Zozo! Zozo! Don't leave me here all alone. Help, help! Zozo! Where are you? Over here, behind the wall. Now, how did you get in such a predicament? <laughs> Boy, that was scary. Thanks for freeing me, Waldo. Zozo! Waldo, where are you? <clears throat> it's about time. The things I go through for you. It's not my fault that this space station is haunted. Zozo, how many times do I have to tell you there are no such things as ghosts? It's all illusions and tricks. Astonishing! Another secret passageway. If only we had some light. Thanks, Zozo. That's much better. <laughs> Zozo, what are you trying to say? <laughs> Help me! Zozo, something's on my head! Where? I don't see anything. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> Not another word about this station being haunted. <laughs> I'm warning you. Zozo, I fear something strange is happening. Ghost! We've looked everywhere. There must be some way out of here. Ooh, ah, this place is driving me batty. Darn varmints. <laughs> Another hologram. Look at the bright side. The hollows can't get much worse. Hmm? Goose, you nut! Get down! Get funky! I've had enough of this garbage. Come on, Speck! Give me a little charge! Brighter than you look. The energy drain should dampen his spirits. This way, Doc. You can't be serious. He is. Here we go. More fun and games. Any sign of the detonation device? Too much interference. I can't tell what's inside. Be careful. <gasps> They're just an X-ray projection of us. Up there. I've had enough. Show yourself. We're through playing these games. Take us to our friends. This way. This place must be controlled by a central computer. If I could just get my fingers on that central mainframe. This cloth was torn from Waldo's tunic. Goose, you're a superhuman bloodhound. <laughs> My goose man, what will he do without me? Goose! Waldo! Zozo! Nico! Zachary! Can anybody hear me? What do I do now? Maybe I should just wait here and see if anybody shows up. Whoa! What have we here? Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Aha! At last. Maybe now I'll get to the bottom of this. Greetings. Speck, you chip off the old bite. What's the story here? I am the supreme creation of the ancient Enolan civilization. Programmed to complete my last function, I regret. Last? What is it? I must protect Enola. I am a doomsday device. And my function is to destroy your planet. Why? We are not your enemy. My purpose is to preserve peace. Only Enolans can alter my program. This has not been done. Now, I must complete my last function. 
there are no Enolans left to protect. Speck, you've been waiting to destroy an enemy that doesn't exist. I don't want to hurt you. I tried to frighten you away, but you wouldn't leave. I must complete my function. It's too late. Nothing can be done. Nothing. You must release my friends. Tripwire, old buddy. Do your worst. Let me at it! You can't stop the timer, even with your magic. Quiet! The doctor is operating. How about it, Tripwire? This thing's gonna blow, Doc. I can add a loop to the timer program. That would slow it down. It's the best I can do, Doc. That feels much better. Thank you for visiting me. It's been real. The landing bay is at the end of the corridor, but you must hurry. What about you, Speck? I will complete my function. Goose, there isn't enough time to get out of range. We'll have to jam sync the hyper shunts. Pre-flight codes locked. Ignition. Hyperflux ready for jam sync. Ready to make the jump. Not enough flux charge. Not yet, Zach. Okay, punch it! Goodbye, Speck. Speck's countdown. It started so far from Earth. He must have triggered it early, before entering our system. What a waste. Think what we could have learned from that computer. Poor Speck. Programmed to destroy. Speck sacrificed himself to save us. And everyone in the galaxy will see that explosion, like a newborn star, with a message of peace. It's Rubik's Magic Puzzle, the new challenge from the incredible Erno Rubik. The cube was easy. I dare you to link the rings. I did it. You didn't do it right. <laughs> Rubik's Magic. Pick it up. You'll never put it down. Oh, I can't put it down. <laughs> I can't put it down. Can you, eh? <laughs> Rubik's Magic Puzzle, new from Matchbox. You'll never put it down. <laughs> Give me that back. It's my turn now. Come on.
This is the Micro Machine Man presenting the most midget miniature motorcade of Micro Machine. Each one has dramatic details, terrific trim, precision paint jobs, plus incredible Micro Machine pocket play sets. There's a police station, fire station, restaurant, service station, and more. Perfect pocket portables to take any place. And there are many miniature play sets to play with, and each one comes with its own special edition Micro Machine vehicle and fun, fantastic features that miraculously move. Raise the boat lift at the airport marina, man the gun turret at the army base, clean your car at the car wash, raise the toll bridge. And these play sets fit together to form a Micro Machine world. Micro Machine pocket play sets, so tremendously tiny, so perfectly precise, so dazzlingly detailed, you'll want to pocket them all. Micro Machines are Micro Machine pocket play sets sold separately from Galoob. The smaller they are, the better they are. Mr. Cow. Yes? How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? I don't know. I always end up biting. Ask Mr. Fox, for he's much cleverer than I. Mr. Fox, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Why don't you ask Mr. Turtle, for he's been around a lot longer than I. Me? <laughs> I bite. Mr. Turtle. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Why, he never made it without biting. Ask Mr. Owl, for he is the wisest of us all. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? A good question. Let's find out. One, two, three, three. If there's anything I can't stand, it's a smart owl. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. Today's exciting episode, Saber Rider fights a duel with the greatest swordsman alive. Colt runs into hard times, and April pilots Ramrod against a menacing renegade. Danger leads to the Baron's mysterious underground moat. What is he hiding? Find out next on Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs. All across the new frontier, mountains opened up, the earth trembled, lava erupted, and flying stones hailed from the sky. The people were saved, but many of our automatic transport vehicles never made it out. Saber Rider, everyone was saved. But we must find out what's causing these eruptions. Our only lead is a mysterious man who wanted us to sign some suspicious papers. Some men rob you with a six gun, some with a fountain pen. Well, that's just the way it is. You know, there is a pattern to these eruptions, and I've pinpointed the next probable target. You've never been wrong yet, April. What is this target location? A castle in the Western Highlands. I suggest you go there immediately. I'll inform Cavalry Command of your mission. I think... Yes, there it is. <gasps> oh. It's the castle of Mountain Haze, set over a deep blue water moat. I give it an eight and a half. Oh, you know you like it. You think they could use an extra princess down there? It's just a shanty with a lot of fancy doolollies, if you ask me. Its owner is the famous Baron Vaughn, the greatest living swordsman. He doesn't like visitors of any kind. Gee, that's bad news for him, because he's got some now. Oh, Baron, the Star Sheriffs are coming. 
We know for a fact they're going to try to take your castle away. We can help you, but not unless you sign these papers. No more dilly-dallying, or you'll have to face Saber Rider yourself. Here, sign them! This is what I think of your papers? <sighs> I am a royal lord. If Saber Rider dares to come here, I will answer him with this. Sword to Saber Rider in a duel of honor. Of course, I'm sure that is something you don't understand, Mr. Valtag. You can't afford to take chances. I will decide what I can and cannot afford to do. Not anymore! Wait! Let him do it his way. If he fails, then we'll call for the Outriders. Yes, I see what you mean. Baron, I trust you'll pardon us if we don't wait around for the show. Good luck. You'll need it. I despise cowards. Well, we're here, but when do we see the Baron? These fancy Dan types like to keep you waiting. See any signs of life, Top Sword? Mm, not yet. Oh, wouldn't you just love to live in a palace like this? Personally, I prefer a home where the buffalo roam. Know what I mean? That mountain looks like the one that erupted into a volcano back at the frontier outpost. Yes, that's exactly what we're afraid is going to happen, but I don't think it will be easy to convince the Baron. Oh. Huh? You said the Baron didn't like visitors. He doesn't. They must have been here for a special reason. And I'm gonna find out what it was. Careful, they look creepy. The Baron will see you now. As one nobleman to another, I greet you, Baron. This is our navigator, April, and the youngest star sheriff, Fireball. Pleased, Pleased to, meet to meet you, Baron. Baron. We came because we believe your castle is in danger. There is the possibility of a volcanic eruption. It is quite serious. We are hoping you will cooperate with us, Baron. What do you say? Hey, come on! Saber Rider's talking to you! You can at least answer him! What's that? Forgive him, Baron. He's a little brash. But he's only concerned with your safety, as we all are. There may not be much time, and the effects of an eruption could be devastating. Enough! You don't fool me. I know what you're after. They told me you would try to take away my castle. Who, who said that? Don't cross-examine me, my young friend. I am not a man to take such things lightly. I hope you are getting my point. Those wranglers are moving, but so am I. Jumpin' tumbleweeds! I'm getting bushwhacked! Wow! <laughs> this must be how they fly down under! Here it comes! I'm headed straight for that cliff! Wow! Yes, they all went home. And I was having fun. I don't think they recognized me. That cowboy will follow anyone. He thinks this is all a big game. They won't take us seriously until we show some muscle. The Baron is key. He's got to come to our side. How? However, he's going on a fox hunt this afternoon. Let's send some boys after him. Give him a little scare. Fine. Don't even tell me about it. Just do it. Meanwhile, I'll prepare the volcano. <laughs>
fox hunting at a time like this? What a strange guy. I mean, what's he doing living out here in the middle of nowhere anyway? Yep. I'd like to know that myself. He's following tradition. Huh? Well, his traditions are leading him straight into trouble. You know that, and I know that. But until he knows it, we'll have to watch him closely. He needs our protection. I've released the cybernetic fox. It looks real, but of course it's just mechanical. Very good. All right, you hound dogs, let's go. <laughs> I score five points if I light up his tail. <laughs> you had it, Baron. You're threatening me. It's not a threat. That's a promise. You should never make promises you can't keep. my enemy, yet you fought on my behalf. Why? Because we are here to help you. You like the knight, I like the castle. Yet we're both pawns. I am never a pawn. I control my own destiny with an iron will. You may be surprised, Baron. Even a man like you can lose control at times like this. Your estate is very beautiful, but it could all come to an end if that mountain erupts. Tell us who you've been talking to. Now we know someone has been putting pressure on you. Who are they? Where can we find them? Hmm. I told you I didn't want to talk about that. Go! And don't come back! Well, I'm glad you could make it, Top Sword. Things are heating up here in more ways than one, if you get my drift. Hmm, volcanic pressure? Exactly. It builds up underground and then pushes its way up through cracks and crevices. But it usually takes hundreds of years. We think the Outriders might be sort of helping nature along on this one. Only the Baron can lead us to them. If I read your chart correctly, April, they must be controlling the lava from over here. That's my best guess. I want you to take Ramrod there as quickly as possible. Well, that's fine, Pard, but what about the Baron Von Sword Slasher? Well, there is one hope. His code of honor requires that he accept a challenge from a fellow nobleman. I'm going to challenge him to a duel. That's right, Baron. Mm -hmm. It's hot because there is molten lava under your castle, spreading everywhere, heating up everything. This castle is famous in legends and songs, the castle of the mountain haze. But that mountain is about to erupt, and the haze will turn to smoke and ash. You're just trying to scare me again, Silver Rider, but I won't listen. The water is probably warm because of a change in the weather. That's all. You can't push me. No, but I can challenge you. And as a fellow nobleman, you must accept my challenge according to the Code of Chivalry. I know your reputation as the greatest living swordsman, but I think you may be overrated. Of course, if I win, then I will call the shots. Well, Baron, do you accept my challenge? <laughs> the mountain's blowing! I 
seem to recall Miss April predicting this was gonna happen. That lava's going to destroy the castle. We've got to try to stop it. I don't know how, but if there's a way, we'll find it. Hang on to your hats! I am the greatest swordsman in this quadrant. I have defeated a hundred young upstarts like you, and I am more than willing to make it a hundred and to one! Oh, God! How about the trail behind the ear? Your sword is sharp, man, but your wits have grown dull. First your hairs, then your heart. <laughs> your style's rather crude, man. Who taught the defense, Genghis Khan? The lava's flowing toward the castle. We've got to cut a break in the side of the mountain to stop it. Well, that worked for about two seconds. There's something else there, and I don't like its looks. What is it? A renegade unit! Watch out! Let's do it! Ramrod will now take navigational control. Acknowledge, April. Navigational control on. Ramrod challenge phase one. Head him up, move him out. Quick draw! You should give up with any time! Don't count on it! Very bad. Sorry, but we don't allow people to hang around the castle. Good I'm afraid there's no place else to go but down. <laughs> you have lost, Saber Rider. But now you must pay the price. My good man, it's never over until it's over. <laughs> For a brief lesson in manners. As I was saying, Baron, I want some information. All right, I will tell you. It was a man named Reltag. You passed him on your way in to see me. Reltag, Reltag. Of course, Reltag is Gatla spelled backwards. <laughs> Ramrod, how are you chumps holding up? Oh, we're swell, Saber Rider. No problem on our end of things. <laughs> Baron, you can't handle this yourself. It's much too dangerous. Farewell, Saber Rider. He's trying to make up for his mistake. Now he certainly has courage. Fireball, use my map to flight dynamics. All right, top sword! <laughs> the castle of the mountain haze. If I miss, I'll destroy it. Take your best shot, Baron. You'll know when the time is right. What's he doing out there? Trying to open the moat. I hope he can blast through, because we've got our hands full with this renegade. Whoa! Tackle him. Lift off. See, I've broken through the blue water moat, but can it stop the lava? Head for the moat! Right! Now, drop him in. He's made to function in lava, not water. If we blast it now, the water and lava will cancel each other out. It'll all turn into steam. It's 
working. There it goes. Saber Rider was right all along. Baron, you're one of a kind. Thank you, sir. You have a sharp sword and a generous heart. You're a big enough man to admit when you're wrong. And I know that's not easy for you. I've become too proud. But I am going to change that now, thanks to you. We can all use a little humility. Look, now the Baron's giving him some kind of gift. I wonder what it is. I hope it's something you can eat. Or ride. <gasps> oh, I... What is that thing? It looks like an octopus. With funny flags and horns on it. It's a musical instrument, isn't it? Right, traditional Highland bagpipes. Here, I'll play a little tune for you. Well, nobody's perfect. Sounds like a cat got his tail scrunched by a rocking chair. Oh, really? I thought I could record a hit song with this. Sure, Saber Rider. You might say it's in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> to reveal two worlds of battle action from Galoob. Atari introduces the woman of the year, Ms. Pac-Man. With a style of entertainment that Pac-Man never knew, an endless supply of floating goodies, oranges, pretzels, four different screens, each with different exits and entrances, and the green screen so difficult to reach, you may never see it again. Don't you know? Pac-Man. Harness the power. Dino Riders. The Dino Rider is spotted by the evil robots. Hey, this young star. You need glasses, Hammerhead. Pick on someone your own size, big eyes. The Rulons on their Triceratops aim their lasers. I'll distract them. Quickly turret from his Tyrakosaurus fires. Eat rocks, Rulons. Triceratops with motorized walking action. Styracosaurus and Quetzalcoatlus with figures and battle gear, each sold separately. Dino Riders. One day these rats were playing in the woods. One of some matches and that's no good. Listen to smoke before you give it a try. Only you. Don't play with matches. Don't play with fire. Fire. Cause there's nothing very funny about the dark light. Nothing very nice. But a homeless man. So if a gorgeous force is what you desire, don't play with matches. Don't play with fire. Only you can prevent wildfires. Fire. Surrender. Or pay the consequences. Don't. 
Riders. Looks like we're coming to a commercial. Let's fight the zone. longer, Beth. I'll get us out of this somehow. Thank you for the courage. Only one shell left. I am moving closer. Get that wheat to Europe, millions will starve. We can't keep them there any longer. They've been fighting for almost 24 hours. They have to stay. There's no choice. Montreal is critical. <laughs> trapped at the old world's fair. To take such a chance, you must love your sister very much. It's a pop job coming through. I could let you eat cafeteria food after all that time in the zone. Now you can both be all right. No more running and hiding. Are you sure about that? Is she really going to be okay? Of course she is, Carol. Within two days, she will be completely normal. Everyone who gets out of the zone is. We don't have the equipment here to find out why she's immune. The university clinic does, but it's in the zone. Well, then we'll have to take her back to MCC. We have the facilities there. No! No! It will be all right. We will take your sister, too. But we can't leave my parents in the zone. You have to go in and get them. I'm sorry, Carol. Commander, the children should not be separated from their parents. 
Just this once. Let me go in. No, and... Tank. Now, I know how you feel, but we can't risk losing you. You must stop blaming yourself because your son is trapped in the zone. <laughs> there was nothing you could do, Tank. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. But if I had been with him, then you would have been zoned too. But my Joseph would not be alone now. Tank, if MCC can discover the secret of Carol's immunity, then just maybe Joseph, Carol and Beth's parents, and everyone trapped in the zone can be reunited with their loved ones again. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I am so tired. You all look like you're ready to drop. Go get some rest, and Carol needs some peace and quiet. I will be along soon, Commander. I want to stop at the gift shop. Hello? You must help us. Don't leave us here trapped in the zone. Dad? How did you find me? That's not important now. What's important is that we need you to get us out of the zone. What's important is that we need you to get us out of the zone. You mean that you will leave? Yes, but hurry. Before it's too late. Remember, we love you. Hear that, Beth? Mom and Dad want to come out. And if nobody else will help them, I will. I brought you flowers and a pound puppy. Where is your new hover wheelchair? Where did Carol go, Ben? She went home to get mom and dad. She what? Tank to zone lighter. Tank to zone lighter. Hurry, here. Commander. Carol is going back into the zone after her parents. Wait for a sec. You read me? Just a child going into the zone. Wait for us, Sergeant. Joe? Turn with more Spiral Zone action. Initiator. Access code. Overlord. Begin ignition sequence. Might have. 
have the girl. Tank's gonna have to wait. so far indicates something to do with abnormal spinal cord function overload. But more tests will be necessary to reach a definite conclusion. Well, get on with it. They're coming. I have to know. At the present rate, final figures will be available in... I want it now! Full power to 
could damage or destroy the subject. I must know no matter what the cost. The world depends on us. <sighs> we cannot allow personal feelings to jeopardize a mission. Dak, her eyes! Himmel, she has lost her immunity. Now we'll never know what caused it. Five generators gone! One seaway reopened and three million people liberated. Good work. Now it's time we all got a little rest. And now that the generators are gone, Mom and Dad are coming here real soon. <laughs> Carol, here is someone you maybe would like to see. Mom! Dad! You're here! You're here! Say, we'll be back to normal soon. Your legs! Carol, you can walk! Ah, connection! That is it! The reason for her immunity was because the nerves to her legs were blocked. The runaway analyzer must have unblocked them. Thank you so much, Tank. For mom and dad and everything. Have a, a happy life, child. I will. It's 
especially since I can walk again. But right now, the only thing I can think about is that my family is safe and free. All people should be safe and free, especially children. We'll be right back with more Spiral Zone action. And now we return with more Spiral Zone adventure. Sold separately. See any ghosts? Not yet. Pigman, it's back to the bone. Give me out. Looks like you're really into them, Stan. Safe. <laughs> safe. Not so safe. It's like bucket. What a slob. I've been cooped. Activate the turtle blasters. We ain't afraid of no ghosts. Ah! Peter Venkman, bad to the bone and sludge bucket with ectoplasm, each sold separately. Ghostbusters from Kenner. Thundering across the stars to save the universe from the monster minds. Jay searches for his father to unite the magic root and lead his lightning league to victory over the changing form of Saw Boss. Wheeled warriors explode into battle. Lightning strikes. There's a power that comes from deep inside of you. again it figures just as we finally pick up my father's signal ah, to reach your father would be no easy task 
I'm not taking my barge in there. If you don't, they will. Now close in and crush them! Now, Herc! Targets go one! Block B3 in order. System D2 all clear. We're almost there, Jace. Almost where? To the planet where your father is waiting. What? If there was a planet anywhere near here, I'd know about it. I'm sensing something. You'll know about it the hard way if you don't prepare for a landing. Sure. are telepathic. They keep outside eyes from seeing what's really on this planet. With plants like this around, my father's gotta be here. I hope so. for my father. So you're Jace. You know of me? Yes, from your father, Aldrich. Then my father is on this planet. I'm sorry, but... But he knew we were coming here to meet him. He had no choice. The planet Triton was being overrun by monster mines. Aldrich was the only one who could lead its people to safety. He waited for you as long as he could. Did he leave word where he was going with them? Our Princess Kiandra knows. Well then, where is she? She's in the cave. Princess, our only link with the plants that guard our world. You've got to wake her up, Gillian. Nothing can awaken her. She's been enchanted. So it appears. Who would do that? Huh. The plants are gonna die if she doesn't wake up. Do something, Jace. Can't you wake up the princess with your magic? Hmm. Uh, let's see now. Uh, sleeping, sleeping, sleeping planets, sleeping princes, sleep. Ah, princesses. Kabahoja, Kawabo, Kanamazamba, Sneep, 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 Bazao, Bazao, Kabanwanda, Bazao, Barauja, Kawabo, Rambonu, Baganonu. Sneep! Sneep! The plants are dying. And if the plants perish, the planet dies with it. Somebody better do something. Now all we can do is find the one who put the spell on her. We've already found him. What? Parawan? That's impossible. One wizard knows another wizard when he sees one.
Ah. 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 ah, here it is. This mirror can read people's minds. So all we have to do is get him here and use it on him. Precisely. Bring him to me. I'll search his mind for the spell he used on the princess. Okay. Oon, let's go. Yes, Master. This is my world now, and no one's taking it away from me. Program C-19. Spike Trike. Trailblazer. Defense Program. Command acknowledged. All right. We'll go, too. Let's do it. Get to that barge. All that matters now is keeping Jace on that planet. Till we get those plants. Super Drill. Of course I'm all right. It does look real, doesn't it? Real enough for the monster minds to believe it. Gillian, sometimes your magic amazes even me. 
I thought you'd have that would-be wizard in chains by now. I'm on my way. Don't waste time. Just find him. Wait! Who goes there? <laughs> now for your imprisonment! Ring of Light! Magic Might! What are you going to do with me? Let me out of here! And now with this power... I'll never give you the spell! We should have used this earlier. Now, I have a few questions that need answers. Yes? Are you the one who enchanted the princess? I am. Then you will reveal a spell. Ga, Zuchaba, Wanda, Boba, Wojik. Well, let's awaken the princess. Kazuchiba Wanda Baba Wojik. Kazuchiba Wanda Baba Wojik. Kazuchiba Wanda Baba Wojik. He is the son of Audric. I'm looking for my father. So you are Jace. I can guide you to him. I... Oh. 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 She's feeling the death of the plants. Oh. Oh. Paramon broke the psychic harmony she had with the plants while she was sleeping. But then the plants will be destroyed by the monster mines. They'll reach the Tree of Life, the source of all the plants, and our world will die. <laughs> then we'll have to get to the Tree of Life first. Even if we could, I... I don't have the strength. Maybe we do. Flora? I'll try. Watch out! Quick draw! Program AX-19! Drill Sergeant, sequence 12! Perk, can we get some cover here? Sure, you only call me when you need something. The 
tree is dying. Hurry! It needs you! I'll help too. We hurry. Here is the transmitter he left for you. Thanks. Uh, goodbye. Please wait. I I can show you the way. No, you must stay here. The people of this planet need you! But... You are a vital link between the people and the Tree of Life. I'm all right, Oon. Yeah, there were 200 of them and one of me. Hey, are you listening? There were 200 of them and only one of me.
Gregory, you want this? You'll never cut the mustard, mean wiener! <laughs> Food fight! Your history, private pizza. Pow! And your lunch. Combat curtain. Fire! What's going on? Joy saved this food again, Mom. Food fighters, figures in combat curtain eat sold separately. Toys do not walk in. It's Max. Where illusion is the ultimate weapon. Yeah! Mask, Boulder Hill play set with action figures, so you put it together. Prepare for battle. This is no innocent gas station. Activate freeze ray. <laughs> Nobody stops the evil jackhammer. Vehicle sold separately with action figure. Oh, yeah? Oh, I'll sneak in another way. Hop, hop! Sector! Surrender, prisoner. Mask, Boulder Hill play set. Vehicle sold separately. New from Kenner. Hello, Mother. Hello. We're the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Bakers. I know. Of course you do. Mm. It does taste like cinnamon toast. Uh, like homemade. We use the finest ingredients, like whole wheat. That's good. With sprinkles of real cinnamon and sugar. Less sugar than most kids' cereals. That's great. Bacon homemade taste. Better leave some for the kids. In the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh no, here. Join the fun as the mighty Orbots patrol the universe in another surprise-filled adventure. Sounds good enough to eat. Oh no! Crunch! Orbot, stop him before he eats the whole show! Now return to Mighty Orbots. This is the ocean planet of Relos. And this is an undersea mining operation. Or is it? A few hours later, Rob and the Orbots head for Rylos. Rondu says that the underwater mining operations on Rylos are under attack by a sea monster. <laughs> Yum! Space nut! Do you think our powers can stop a sea monster? Some powers you've got. The most you can do is turn into a can opener. I've got strength. Yeah, between your ears. If I were Bo's boyfriend, she'd have a built-in hairdryer, curling iron, manicurist, 
Uh oh. And you've got a built-in identity crisis. I think it's time someone took Tor down a peg. And you're just the Orbot to do it. We're coming up on Rylos. Orbot's mode, everyone. In the beautiful underwater city of Aquaria, Rob and the Orbots meet Torkus, the head of mining operations. A pleasure to meet the mighty Orbots team. This is Amon, our oceanographer. I warned you months ago about Leviathan. Amon, not now. This is Leviathan. If we can't stop him from destroying our launching platforms, we'll have to shut down all our mining operations. Mighty Orbots is our last hope. Do you really think Mighty Orbots can stop Leviathan? If we can find him, we can stop him. Leviathan attacks our automated freighter subs. If you were to board one... It's worth a try. You'll regret it. Good luck and good hunting. I'm warning you, Leviathan's a tough fish to catch. That Amon's not exactly Captain Charisma. Leviathan, here we come. It's a big ocean out there, guys. Finding Leviathan may not be so easy. But what's this? A secret base near Aquaria? Whose can it be? It looks like there's more to Amon than the Orbots realize. We saved the sphere from Torcus. Now we must deal with mighty Orbots. Leviathan, awake! And speaking of the Orbots... What are all those starships for, Rob? To ship Aquarius ore throughout the galaxy. Oh. And what's that over there? Well... If we're lucky, it's another freighter sub. And if we're unlucky? It's Leviathan! Our freighter is going to explode any minute. Leviathan, get out of there! There's trouble on the launch platform. And our sub's sinking! And Leviathan's getting away! Orbots, separate! Ah! 
Ward and Crunch, shut that star freighter down. Everybody else, save the sub. Ono and I will search for Leviathan. No sign of him anywhere. Wait, I'm picking up echoes of a brainwave beam from somewhere underwater. I'll sweep the area. You get a fix on it. One sub coming up. It's my turn. The sub has been saved. But how are Bort and Crunch doing with their problem? I've got to get in there. No problem. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Crunch. <laughs> Glad to help, buddy. Let's see. I think this one shuts the engines off. Oh! Yuck! The freighter is out of control. It's headed right for us. <laughs> Maybe this level will work. Oops. I did? Yeah, you're marvelous, Bort. Hold it, hold it. What about me? I saved a sub. Oh, why don't you just admit that you are no match for a real hero? <sighs> There's no doubt about it. Someone's controlling Leviathan. Let's get back and tell the others. Come on, guys, we still have to catch Leviathan. And this time, we're looking on his turf. Rob and the Orbots don't know it, but Leviathan is just the start of their troubles. Well, has mighty Orbots defeated Leviathan? I have had no word yet from the Orbots commander. This is risky, Umbra. If the Galactic Patrol learns that the mining operation is just a cover to search for the Solar Sphere... Precisely, Torcus. That is why it is up to you to make sure they do not discover it. I need the power of the Solar Sphere to complete my conquest of the galaxy, and only Mighty Orbots can retrieve it from Leviathan. Mighty Orbots rescuing a shadow operation. I like that idea. <laughs> I picked up earlier is getting stronger, Rob. Can you trace it to its source? I think so, given enough time. Look! Eh, the fire done. I think our time just ran out. Looks like Rob and the Orbots are in for a whale of a time. Scatter! Oh no! Here he comes again! Let's give him the old water weirdness play. Roger, Rob. This ought to cloud the issue a little. And now for a whirlpool bath. He looks like he could use a little kilt. <laughs> hey, we didn't even get our turn, Chef. Now well, he's gone, for now. Did you manage to get a fix on that brainwave beam, Ono? due south at the bottom of the sea. But who could be controlling Leviathan? I'm betting it's Amon. Why, Rob? Because no one but Amon and Torcus knew we were in that sub. 
And Torcas said he was an oceanographer. He could have easily created a monster like Leviathan. Well, let's go find out. Back in Aquaria, Torcas is receiving some good news. So, we've got a fix on the location and we're on our way there. I think it's Amon. Amon, of course. Give me your coordinates and I'll follow you. Umbra was right. You can count on mighty Orbots to get the job done. <laughs> we're almost there. And we're not the only ones. Not him again. He's... He's gaining on us. So what are you worried about? You're a hero, right? Huh? Oh, right. Look. There's some kind of door in that coral reef. It might be a trap. Yeah, but anything beats tackling Leviathan again. I was right. You're behind this, Amon. It's true. I admit it. There's no use hiding anymore. But hear me out. As Amon tells his story to Rob and the Orbots, Torcas's ship arrives at the Coral Reef. I created Leviathan by genetic breeding, and I implanted a control device in his brain, controlled by this cyber helmet. But why? Because Torcas digging is destroying the ocean's ecology, and I will not permit it to continue. But even if what you say is so, you can't shut down the entire mining operation. He hasn't been mining. He's been searching for the solar sphere, which has the power of a star within it. True, Elon, but you don't know all of it. I don't want the sphere, Umbra does, and your Leviathan swallowed it. Umbra? So Shadow's behind this. Give me that helmet, Amon. <laughs> I'm going fishing. Inside Leviathan. We've got to stop him before he gets to Leviathan. <coughs> Open wide, Leviathan! Oh no, we're too late! Leviathan! It's me, Amon! Torcas is controlling him now! He doesn't respond to you, Amon! Now I know how Pinocchio felt. The solar sphere must be in Leviathan's stomach. So, how do we get there? Whoa! It looks like Leviathan doesn't find anything hard to swallow. Charkas to Lord Umbra. I have the solar sphere. Excellent. I will send a ship immediately. Leviathan! Take me to the surface. Now attack Aquaria and smash the city. Farewell, you fools. I'm on my way out of here. What's happening to us? We're being absorbed into the bloodstream. As long as we humans stay in the bean car, we should be safe, Amon. I know I'm gonna hate myself for asking this, but what's that? This vein leads straight to Leviathan's heart. If we don't time this exactly, we're pancakes. Get ready, now! Carotid artery. Our only hope is to reach Leviathan's brain and deactivate the controlling device I implanted there. Sounds like a good plan, Amon. And speaking of plans, what is Torcas up to? Now to catch my ride off this waterlogged planet. 
Look sharp, gang. We're not out of this yet. I'm not worried. Bork will think of something. Women. We're approaching the brain. Oh, no! They're antibodies. They protect Leviathan system against invaders. And we're the invaders. <laughs> we're getting in the clear now. Thank goodness. That was yuck. We should be reaching the brain any moment. There, the control device. Let's hope I can deactivate the controls in time. There, it's disconnected. Leviathan is now unconscious. Oh, no! According to this, he's built up too much momentum to stop. He'll still hit Aquaria! We gotta get out of here and stop him. This way, through the ear. It's the quickest way out. Orbots, unite! <laughs> Ignition, Ono! Can even mighty Orbot stop the huge whale from crushing Aquaria? Only one thing left to try, the direct approach. We're slowing him down. But we can't stop him. Give it all you've got, team. Gang, now let's go get Torcus. Ah, here comes my ride home. With the Orbots trapped inside that whale, nothing can stop me. Mighty Orbots! Scratch one shadow ship. What's happening? This can't be! I'm sure the Galactic Patrol will be interested in this. Talk about going out with a bang. Mighty Orbots has done it again. Well, I'm sure the sea life and the human life on Rivos can live in harmony from now on, Amon. Yes, thanks to Mighty Orbots. And especially thanks to Bort. I've had all of this I can take. Ah, oh, come on, Tor. Don't be jealous just because I'm programmed for brains and you're programmed for brawn. <laughs> What are you scared of? Leviathan's harmless now. Oh, oh yeah. But next time we all go fishing, count me out.
Rockwell, Ace McLeod, and Doc Terror each sold separately. Trouble in forever, Jake! And it's actually assault mode! Let's do it! My name is Doc Terror Dan! Centurion's Doc Terror Dan! Trouble in forever, Jake! And it's actually assault mode! Energize the power mode! Bullets away! Fire! Now, Doc Terror falls! Right, Jake? Right, Ace! New Centurions, Jake Rockwell, Ace McLeod, and Doc Terror come as shown, each sold separately. The new Legoland Firehouse One. You can build the firehouse and even close the door. The building's only started because there's more and more and more. The roof can make your chopper blades to get you in the air. The sides can make a fireboat in case you're floating there. And when you've built what's on the box, it's time for something new. Dreaming up's the best part of Legoland and you. There are 26 town sets you can collect, each sold separately. Firehouse One is part of the Legoland Town Collection and has hundreds of bricks for building from Lego Systems. It's elegant. That face. It just is that face. It's intelligent. Waka waka. Waka waka. It's awesome. Does that mean we should do some break dancing? <laughs> it's those outrageous Muppets live on stage for the first time ever in the Muppet Show on Tour. Brace yourself, America. In person, on stage, as big as life. All your favorite Muppets at the Philadelphia Civic Center, April 10th through the 14th. Land shark. The mighty land shark will have Mechanic for lunch. Yikes! And He Man for dessert. Land shark vehicle, Skeletor, Mechanic, and He Man figures each sold separately. Help! Help! Land shark, land shark. Help! He Man! Land shark, land shark. Abraham, Lockjaw, Land shark. Land shark. Land Shark Vehicle, new from the Masters of the Universe collection, not for use with some figures. Action figures each sold separately. From Mattel. We used to be four ordinary teenagers. Until one day, we met some new friends from out of town. They were called Dinosaucers. My friends and I became the secret scouts, allies to these dinosaurs from outer space, and joined in their battles against Genghis Rex and the evil Tyrannos. The dinosaurs are leaving, Bossasaur! Well, follow them! This is Allo. What's your status? Another big night on watch. Everyone out on patrol except me and Terex. Well, I'll be relieving you in a few minutes. Bronto Thunder, it's Terex. Come to the hangar bay right away. <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing's the matter. I want you to see my newest invention, the fourth dimensional quantum lens, or 4D lens for short. That's it? I ran all the way here to see some gadget? It so happens this gadget can reach into the fourth dimension. So? That's just me. But watch this. The same way the lens makes your image bigger, this lens can make you bigger or smaller. Terex. Have you been hibernating well lately? Hey, it works. I could make you as tall as a tree or as... Whoops! <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? Bronto, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to... <gasps> Uh-oh! Great. What do we do now? Don't worry. Here's Aloe. A 
new invention, Terex? The 4D lens! How do you like it? I'm impressed. And I'll be even more impressed when I'm my right size again. Uh, we have a problem there. When you shut off the power, you erase the computer codes. What? You mean you can't grow us back to normal? Right now, it's stuck on shrink. But send this data to Ryan to look at. His computer will have a copy of the codes. How are we gonna get to Ryan's house? We can't even get on the table. Calm down. I'll hook up my ship to the 4D lens and carry it to Ryan's. It's no use. We need another ship for this job. You two, let's go. Uh, why don't we play computer games? We can't. Terex is sending me some files. Something about a new invention she's working on. Hmm. My Chlora scanner is picking up some odd signals. Someone down there has a computer hooked up to one of the dinosaurs' mainframes. And I want to know why. We'll be back by 10, kids. Keep an eye on things. We know, Dad. I know you'd rather be out having fun, but well, your mom and I like an evening out, too. We want you to have a good time, Dad. It's just there's nothing to do around here. Try cleaning up your rooms. Or at least vacuum some of those cobwebs on the ceiling. Oh, oh Mom. Mom. Well, I can dream, can't I? See you later. Boy, is this going to be a dull night. See those tiny lights out there? It's the dinosaurs. They must be a mile away. Ah! Ryan, Sarah, it's us. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't funny. Oops. Yeah! Bronto Thunder. Apparently, I'm not the only clumsy one around here. This is not my night. Okay, fun's fun. Now make us big again. The 4D lens is stuck on shrink. We need to access your computer files to get the code for growing. Okay, we'll be right up. I always forget. Now, where did I leave those tickets? Night, kids. Kids? Oh, they must be down in the playroom. What a mess! I wish he wouldn't leave his models all over. He's always the first to scream when they get broken. That was close. That's just great. What else is going to happen tonight? <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> Calling Genghis Rex. This is Terrible Dactyl. What is it? I'm watching the home of Secret Scouts Ryan and Sarah. Oh, exciting. And for you, too. When you hear my news, if you want to get your claws on the dinosaurs, now's the time. 
they've shrunk to the size of hatchlings. What? I'm on my way! Can't you pull it open, Bronto? Sure, if I could reach it. Sarah, do you have any cable? How about string? There's some on my mom's desk downstairs. We'll go get it. Ryan, try to find that computer code while we're gone. What's the name of the program? If it's in there, I'll find it. D. I. Uh, N. O. I don't think this is working. I know what I'm... Yeah. Okay, Terex, your turn. Look out below! Uh oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, Bronto, help us get it upstairs. Yeah, that is, if you're not all tied up right now. <laughs> this is Terex's file. But there's eight codes here. Which one grows us back to normal? <gasps> A spider! Run, Sarah! Uh-oh. Get on the train! So long, Spider. Ryan, we should have cleaned up the room! Why? This is no time for a nap. Come on! Then what is? Are you all right, Sarah? Yeah, I'm just trapped. Thank you, Bronto Thunder. <laughs> nice shot, Aloe. Should I come down? No, we need you up there to operate the 4D lens. All right, everyone. Pull! It's opening! That did it. Come on.
Okay, we're all set. Did you find the growth sequence, Ryan? It has to be one of these. Do you remember which one, Terex? It's that second one. All right, let's... What? Aha! <gasps> uh -huh. Goodness! Look what I found. I haven't had dino toys like this since I was knee-high to an egg. Why, what's the matter? You two look so shook up. Take your hands off that ship, Rex. Go away, you pest. Oh, you what? Then I'll swat you like the Pleosaurus you are. What happened to Rex? He was here a second ago. Huh, huh, let's take a look. That device! It shrank us! Well, well, Rex. Looks like you finally picked on someone your own size. Destroy them! Actually, I think I'll leave them to you. What? Right now, it's three against three. That appeals to me. A real fair fight. And good luck. I'll give you a fair fight, you leather-headed loon. Come back! Be reasonable, Rex. We don't need a fight. We can both use the lens to get back to normal. But only one of us can control the lens! Tyrannos, attack! away from the lens. When we do, shut the door. Okay, but please be careful. If you wreck anything, we have to explain it. I'll do my best. Kids ever clean in here? Wait a second! The lens! I'll attend to you later, mammal! Is that so? Okay, here goes. Aha! Ryan, you did it! No, wait! You overdid it! I can't get out of the room! Never mind, I think I know how to fix it. You think? I'm Kylo, you armored lizard! Where are you? Right here, Bronto Thunder. Dead end. Okay, tractor beam on. <laughs> You're trapped now, Elmo. I bet Rex is seeing red now. That won't stop me, Allo! Now I can help the dinosaurs. Aren't you forgetting something? What about me? 
You need Terex! I don't know the shrinking code! Well, big brother, I suggest you figure it out before Mom and Dad get home. All right, no need to get physical. Others for now. Let's finish this one off. It looks like we interrupted something. Oh, uh, just a little battle. <laughs> so I see. Boy, these toys get more elaborate every day. Oh, yeah, sometimes I get a little out of hand. <laughs> Well, I'm still hungry. Let's see what's around a snack on. Honey, I don't remember buying these models for the kids. They look so real. Allo, come on out. The 4D lens is set to grow you back to normal size. Ryan, Sarah, thanks for everything. Fire retro rockets! Hey! Hey! Where'd those toys of yours go? Um, upstairs. You put them away? I don't believe it. Oh, we better get ready for bed. All right, dear. We'll be up in a bit. I can use this to make some toys of my own. Ah, too bad. Toys all broken. Let's get out of here! Hi, Mom! Dad! <laughs> We're just cleaning up the room a little. <laughs> yeah, it really does matter if you keep things tidy. I don't get it. I, I love it, but I don't get it. Separately. Enemy go by the talking. Now to capture mass control. Leader one, try and conquer the world now. You are grounded, Coptor. The Gobot Command Center. Leader one and Coptor each sold separately from Tonka. This summer, coming to a supermarket near you. There's going to be a great new high sea flavor with an outrageous food taste. And what are we going to call it? Ecto Cooler. <laughs> high sea Ecto Cooler. <laughs> Slimer's new food drink. You've been warned. You can make the good guys better. Armed force, roll them! You can make the bad guys better. Warriors, quick change and fighting machines.
machines. Bad guys approaching. Quick, stack and attack. You can stack, 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 and attack, stack, 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 with wheel. Warriors. Wheel Warriors vehicles each sold separately. Some parts not for use with some toys. New from Mattel. Win this one, and there's Nestle Quick for everyone. Quick? Nestle Quick? So chocolatey, so rich and thick. I gotta have you, Nestle Quick! Yeah! episode of Captain N, the Game Master, Mother Brain's obsession to conquer Video Land led her to a startling discovery. That toy mirror on my wall? Tell me how to crush them once and for all! Hidden within Mount Icarus's towering peak, the three sacred treasures contain the power you seek. Fueled by her mad craving for power, Mother Brain devised a clever plan to hold a Video Olympics at Mount Icarus Coliseum with Captain N and his N team versus Mother Brain's villains. Kevin and the others were led to believe that the games would finally bring peace to Video Land, while in truth, the Video Olympics was a trick devised by Mother Brain to get the three sacred treasures so she could destroy the N team once and for all. zone to oblivion. Something tells me we're about to have a nightmare on Mother Brain Street. It's the mega center of our universe, where all warp zones intersect. Which one of these Wolpicus zones did we come out of? I don't know, but the wrong one could take us to any of a hundred deadly fates. Be cool, guys. This is your captain speaking, and I've got an idea how to find the way home. Simon, have you got any rope in that backpack of yours? No, but I've got some fishing line. Perfect. We'll have a better chance of finding the way back if we each take a different warp zone. Whoever finds the right one, just give a tug on the line. Affirmative. Eeny, meeny, miny, mocus. This is the warp zone into which I go again. You're next, Simon. Don't be silly. I want to make sure both of you get off safely. Well, that's very thoughtful of you, Simon. Whoa! Good luck. Who needs luck when you have brains? I'll just hang out here until I feel a pull in my line, and I won't have to risk my handsome neck. Oh, on the other hand, why worry about a neck when you've got an entire body to think of? Whoa! Well... 
This doesn't look so bad. But that does! This must be the Colosseum! Nah, this is Yankee Stadium. Mount Icarus, I'm home again. I found it. Where is everybody? We've only been gone a few minutes. That's true for us, Your Highness. But my mega sensors indicate a week has passed on Mount Icarus. One of those warp zones must have been a time warp. Then Mother Brains had free reign over Video Land for a week. What? Faster! Or you'll find out there's worse places to be than Mount Mother Brain. Mount Mother Brain? You've got to help us. King Hippo and the Eggplant Wizard have taken over our world, and Dr. Wily took the three sacred treasures to Megaland to conquer that world as well. Megaland? That's my home. We've got to warp there mega fast. But nothing can stop the power of the three sacred treasures. I can, your Heinekus. <laughs> you? Impossible. With, with fire arrows, the sacred bow, and the protective crystal, I'm most certainly Catechus. But you'll have to get past Medusa to get them. It's gonna be dangerous, Maximus, but I must try. Kevin and I will go with Mega Man and see if we can slow down Dr. Wily until you and Simon get the power items we need. But Medusa's even uglier than Mother Brain. One look at her face turns a man to stone. Look on the bright side, Simon. You'd make a very handsome statue. Oh, yes, I would, wouldn't I? Simon and Kid Icarus head for Medusa's palace. Captain N and the others warp off to Megaland. <laughs> I'm so glad you could come. And you must be Captain N. I've heard a great deal about you. <gasps> You're the dude who built all those wicked robots. Gutsman, Iceman, Electman. And don't forget Fireman, Gutsman, and Bomb Man. They were all quite useful, you know, until Dr. Wily reprogrammed them for his destructive ends. And now he's back again, and using the power of the three sacred treasures to take over our world. Don't worry, Doctor, right? The Mega Man game is my specialty. I'll zap Dr. Wily into Warp Factor 10. You'll have to make it past all six deadly robots to get to him. I've been working on a new robot that may be able to help you. I call him Garbage Man. He's programmed to trash the other robots. Watch. Uh, thanks, Doc, but no thanks. We'll handle the situation ourselves. Stop, you miserable heat! Stop that! Oh, that's my laser welding machine! The mega warp to the first robot is over here. Uh, you might want to wait here, Princess. These mega battles can get pretty hairy. My father trained me to fight for freedom, Captain N. I can take care of myself. Uh, uh who's arguing? We'll challenge Katzman first! Whoa! That was some kind of drop! Hurry! The bladers will be here any second! Stop! 
them. This way. Watch out for the beats. Are you all right, Kevin? <laughs> I'm the game master. They can't hurt me. Oh. But each time we get hit, we lose power. Oh, that was incredible. I can hardly believe we made it all the way through. We haven't. You mean there's more? We've only got a little energy left. We're almost there. All we have to do is get past Big Eye. After what we've been through, an eye doesn't sound like such a big deal. It's not the eye I'm worried about. It's what's attached to it! No go! Our zappers aren't cutting it! We don't have enough mega power! We only got one energy unit left! One more hit and we're finished! Ah! We're alive! What happened? We got the boot from old Big Eye. You mean we have to go all the way through again? That's nothing. When I first played the game, I went through it 50 times before I got to Cutsman. I'm afraid this isn't the same as your game, Captain N. What do you mean? What I think he means is if we get trashed two more times, we're going to the big trash dump in the sky. We must hurry. It's deja vu time, guys. Here we go again. As Captain N and the others make another attempt to get to the deadly Cutsman, Simon and Kid Icarus make their way toward a rendezvous with Medusa. Uh, I can grow to enjoy ruling this world for Mother Brain, eh, Iggy? Well, you said it, King Hippo. There's nothing like a hot tub and steam to make a guy feel like a new eggplant. They're blocking the entrance to Medusa's warp zone. Just leave everything to Simon Belmont, Master of Disguise. Hey! You must be the steam bath repairman! This bath isn't hot enough! I'm barely sweating! Uh, yes. Well, we'll have it fixed for you in a jiffy, won't we, Shrimpicus? Whatever you say, Dopius Maximus. Hold this. <laughs> Laying down on the job, huh? Tell me when it's steamy enough for you. Woo! That's hot enough! What's that? Still too cold? Meanwhile, back in Megaland, Captain N and the others have made it back through the deadly Cutsman maze. Mmm, that energy cell tasted great. Ah, well, sort of like an electric cheeseburger, huh? It's Big Eye again. Be careful, Kevin. If he flattens us, we're through. Don't worry, Princess. I got to be Game Master by learning from my mistakes. Wow! Come on, you big trash masher. Try to squash me. I dare you. Nick 
interest in Kevin. Uh, you really think so? There's no time to waste. We've got to mega move it. Well, I wouldn't call hugging a princess a waste of time. When I open the door, we've got to run. Ready? and run circles around the gardener? <laughs> That's right. Guess what? He's the new gardener. Go get him! <laughs> Where are you calling? Whatever you are! Damn, play down! <laughs> Good boy, Duke. Well, that wasn't so bad. You're right, Princess. Compared to the next five robots, Cutsman was just a wimp. Meanwhile, back on Mount Icarus, Simon Belmont and Kid Icarus approach Medusa's lair in search of the needed power items. But perfectly dreadful statues. Medusa has lousy taste in art. That's not Articus. They're warriors who looked at Medusa. Simonius, these are the three power items we're looking for. Isaacus! What do you mean, don't look? How are we supposed to get the power items if we can't look where we're going? We'll have to wear blinders. Take off your backpackers. Hey! I can't see! Good! I'll get the power items. You distract this Medusa. Whatever you do, don't look at her. What am I, an idiot? Excuse me. Hello there, handsome. Why don't you take those goggles off and feast your eyes on me? <laughs> uh, you don't sound very ugly. Your little friend's just jealous that I'll fall for you instead of him. Why, that little sneak, wanting you all to himself. How about giving your handsome Simon a great big... Out of shape. I feel kind of stiff. Never mind, Icarus. We've got to get these power items back to Megaland. What? what? What happened? You've enlisted in the army against Mother Brain. As your commanding officer, I order you to free this world. As Simon and company warp off to Megaland, Captain N and the others arrive at Doctor Wily's secret command center. I 
I've been expecting you, Captain. And congratulations on nearly destroying my deadly androids. But we did destroy them. I'm afraid not, Your Highness. You see, the three sacred treasures have given me unlimited power. <gasps> I had more than enough to revive my little family. Destroy Captain N! We'd better make a mega retreat! Oh. So much for that idea. Oh man, what I wouldn't give to be able to press my reset button. is here. Pulverize that stupid vampire hunter! Whew. Am I glad that worked? Kid Icarus, quick! Shoot the fire arrow at the three sacred treasures! Hey! Oh, Spartacus! The only fire arrow and I missed! Not yet! Finish now, Captain N! He's going to ram us! Not if I have one word to say about it, and I do! Pause! A little mid-course correction should do the trick. Evil ED-260 face off with rapid repeat cap firing. That should hold you. Calling the Robo Jailer. Run away. You won't catch us. But the Robo Jailer smashes through their hideout. You'll be hiding out in prison now. Figures and vehicles sold separately. Back for more? Robocop and the Ultra Police. Psst, over here. I'm a boglin. Me and my buddies need a place to hide out. <laughs> Come a little closer. <laughs> Oh, did I scare you? Oh, I do that so well. If you take us home, we'll kiss your aunt back. <laughs> we'll eat your peas. And we hope you know lots of girls. Hey, the name's Boglins. You sold separately. And we're looking for good homes. Maybe yours. <laughs> Feel their power. Watch them soar. Bone Age, where cavemen fight in dinosaurs, where Taro and Anklor battle to survive. Taro, convert to land attack. Whoosh. Anklor, convert for chase. Each sold separately. You can build fighters never seen before from the bones of these mighty dinosaurs. Bone Age. Convert to survive. Fire! Taro and Anklor sold separately with a caveman. Bone Age. Outlaw Scuzz's days in Fort Carrium Jail are numbered. 
the evil Tex Hex is planning a jailbreak. Now for the bank and all that curium. Brave Star's hawk like eyes see the danger. Has the evil Tex Hex finally won? Or is Fort Curium safe with Brave Star? Only you know the answer. Neutral Laser, Command Center, Bank Jail Set, and figures each sold separately. Batteries not included. Some assembly required. Brave Star from Mattel. It's too late. This is some fighter leader. Break up, fan and scan. Report, but do not engage. Roger, Saber Jet. On our way. This is Sunfighter Leader. I've got a tone. We'll take a look. Uh-oh. I've got a bogey. I don't even know what it is. I'm in. I'm going down. Let us not be slow in our descent. Negative. Well, if he's in this tangled mess, he's not coming out. Please confirm the casualty. Forget the body bag, boys. This is Saber Jet. I'm still alive. I don't believe it. Are you sure this stuff's going to work? Of course, I invented it. I never fail to be impressed by his modesty. Ah, how should I punish you for your treachery? The acid bath? How about the ember pit? Or perhaps you would enjoy being tied to a stake in Whiteburn? No, no, Lord Mecklar! Yes, Master Mecklar! Master Mitla, yes, I like the ring of that. I have a plan to trap and destroy the Earth Core. If you do not succeed in implementing it, my punishment will make the acid bath look like a massage. Meanwhile, in the mantle. It looks like a, a farm of some kind. Perhaps those Langostoid creatures raised crops here. They're too lazy for farming. Earth Corps! Battle positions! Do not fire, kind humans. I don't like it when the natives down here call us humans. It was the kind part that bothered me. What do you want? Do not shoot. We want to talk. Suppose we want to shoot. Hold your fire, Augur. Tell him about the great trouble. <laughs> oh, yes. We are having great troubles. Kendrill has attacked our city. How long ago? Just moments. We happened to know you were coming. Yeah, probably trying to ambush us. Eric, I got a battle plan. Let's let Tendril wear himself down, tearing apart their village, then attack. Quiet, Augur. My friend has a strange sense of humor. Earth Corps, prepare for combat! Traitor! It's a setup! 
It's a cage! Metlar, I demand a reward! I feel fortunate that we didn't destroy your town completely and leave you as barren shells! Come on, let's start blasting them. No, wait. Maybe they'll start blasting each other. Decompose? Give the Langastoids the surface food. <laughs> It doesn't look like they're blasting each other. It was wishful thinking. Right? I'm gonna hit him with the formula. No, uh, I've been thinking. Perhaps I might have miscalculated on the formula. I never thought I'd hear the infallible Dr. Bright admit to a mistake. Neither did I. Spray it anyway. If you don't, we're dead. She's got a point. <laughs> It's doing anything? <sighs> Sandra! It's... it's doing something, and I don't like it. Sandra! I don't believe what I'm seeing. This is what I was afraid of. It's like they're falling in love. Sweet voice calling me. <laughs> For some reason, I'd be more comfortable if they were attacking. Tell me about it. My fair flesh slug. Soon we will be one. Decompose. Please lift this trap off of me. But of course, my love. Let me liberate you from the ugly chains of mortality. Go for it! The hook is off! The hook is off! Sandra, take off! See you up top! Sandra! Sandra! Flee not, my love! Flee not! That's because you were hardly involved in the operation. Let's get out of here before they go for some live surface food. Sandra! Sandra, darling! I'll never let you go! to show the passion, touch the soul of the monsters, and what do I get? A bungling fool tripping over his own feet! George, I think it was a print all the way up until he tripped. All you have to do is intercut a shot of... You think? If I wanted you to think, I would have put it in your contract! You don't understand. This is no exploitation film. This is art! The real tendril! Capture the moment! Film it! Oh, oh, oh. This guy isn't going to take no for an answer. Talk to me, baby. Yeah, I'll talk to you. Arthur, come on. Let's get it done. 
<laughs> yeah, baby. Hey, let's get down. Yeah, baby. Let's get down. <laughs> Yes! It would cost a fortune to recast her. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Hector Ramirez coming to you live from the Statue of Liberty. Today, it is expected that Senator Theodore Ted Masterson will announce his candidacy for president. And it certainly seems that he has a lot of support. Go, Go Listen, when he starts talking, you better cheer big, or there's no paycheck. Thank you, thank you. I cannot tell you how honored I am to be here after 30 years of what some call selfless service to my country. Metlar. Worry not, treacherous slug. If the others are stupid enough to vote for you, I have no intention of stopping them. I'm gonna get him for that! Why don't you do something easy instead, like get yourself elected? I feel funny celebrating when the Inhumanoids are on the loose. Liquidator. Uh, Jonathan. The Inhumanoids have been around for a million years. One more night won't make a lot of difference. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. What? <laughs> Concern to us. Then shall we waltz to the siren's sweet song for just a moment, my sweet. You ever seen such a jerk in your life? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Hector Ramirez with a special episode of 20 Questions. This just in. The Tendril Monster has attacked the set of director George Landisberg's Primal Passions and kidnapped actress Stella Blaze. I don't get it. In case you haven't figured it out, we sprayed the monsters with, a uh... A love potion. If that don't beat all... Sandra's just been decomposed! Earth Core, suit up! Meanwhile, in the core... Statue warriors, assemble and meet my fiance. She does not look special to me. Oh, don't take it too hard. She's only after his lava. So, who are the creeps? Oh, of liberty. Uh, no, allow me to introduce my statue warriors. They look like rejects from some museum. Look, let's get a few things straight. First, your place is a dump. Second, you got a gut. Lose it. And third, if you're expecting me to do the big hitch with you, you'd better clean up your act. Hey, 
Where's the TV? Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, dear, but uh, any, anything you say, anything you say. You shall reign supreme over the Empire of Darkness. Yes, my love. I wait until you see my child, baby. Oh, I can hardly wait, my sweet. I bet it's really something. Yeah, and I got a hot spring with bubbles and everything. Bubbles? Sounds like you've got quite a cavern. The gates to Skellweb. So what now? I got a real subtle plan. Exactly what I've come to expect from you. Find Sandra. I think I know where to look. Come on. I've only got one problem. I can't tell which one is the real tendril and which one is bogus. I must conclude that the braggart is the real one. Okay. You distract the real tendril. I'll get the actress. Are you having fun yet? <laughs> only to laugh. Here's my routine for staying in shape. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, logic dictates that the leader of the Earth Corps should remain safe while I rescue the girl. But I couldn't ask you to do anything I wouldn't do. I know. Do you have a coin to flip? Now, what would I be doing with a coin down here? That settles it. I'll rescue her. something strangely beautiful about all this. Should I spray him with... Don't spray him with anything. That's how he got into this mess. Allow me. July is over! Die, mortal flesh slugs! Die! Curse and white burn! Let's go! I hope you're the real Dr. Bright, not just some stuntman. I'm the real thing. Bright! Hurry it up! I'll arrange a diversion. Come on! Tendril! 
Your girlfriend's stepping out on you! Wait, my darling! It's awesome! You know, in a way, I feel sorry for him. It must have been love at first sight. Do you believe in that? Yes, I do. So do I. <clears throat> you mind if we get out of here before the honeymoon? I wouldn't come here for a honeymoon. <laughs> Neither would I. How about Greece? Yes, there's this little island. Uh, why don't we talk about it on the way out of here? <laughs> Well, they say I might never walk again, but I'll fly for sure. I can't tell you how sorry I am about all this. Sorry? Give me a break. I'll trade legs for jets any day. This is the best thing that ever happened to me. There's the worst thing that ever happened to me. Yes, viewers, this is but the first installment of a series on the Masterson Expedition. A valiant team of explorers led by Senator Masterson who is taking time off from his presidential campaign to rescue the Statue of Liberty from a vicious monster named Metlar. <sighs> well, this ought to liven things up around here.